Hi, this is Mr. Drain from Fulford School, uh, and this video is for students and parents and teachers who want to find out what live.withcode.uk is um, and how you can use it to improve your confidence um, and your, your students' um, ability with Python programming. So it's aimed for my year 10 computer science students, um, but it's also suitable for anyone kind of key stage three up to key stage four um, who wants to um, build up experience and confidence in Python programming. So each week on a Tuesday or Wednesday, um, I share a new set of um, free online learning resources um, and there are five activities. Um, so some students do them all, some pick and choose. The idea is it's just supposed to build your confidence um, and build up your experience bit by bit in understanding and enjoying being creative with code. So um, each week there is a live coding video. So we start on YouTube. Um, where you see anything from five to kind of 20 minutes, usually around 10 minutes of live coding. Live coding doesn't mean you watch me um, code it live. It means that you see the program develop from start to finish. So it's not just seeing the final product, which can be intimidating, the final code. Um, you can kind of listen to or watch, if you turn subtitles on, um, how the program comes together, see all the mistakes, see all the thought processes, um, to try and make it... Um, uh, make programming more accessible and um, you can grow in confidence understanding all of those design processes so that's the youtube video some students don't bother watching it um, but if students don't understand the code then that resource is there um, to uh, to find out how it works the first online free uh, remote learning resource and you can access these without needing to sign up or log in um, but you can get your school to sign up for free um, so that students um, can compete against each other and schools can track their progress um, so the first uh, resource, um, a competitive resource, is a type race. I find some students are really good at the concepts of programming and really want to get stuck in in lessons, but get really frustrated because their typing speed and accuracy uh, just isn't up to scratch. So this is a chance to type out your code as fast as you can. So the code from the video, so this week's video was how to take a list of colours um, and then use that list to draw a rainbow using all of those colours. Um, so it's, it's trying to, to boost students' um, accuracy and speed typing out that Python code. Then the next link is the code itself. So it should work on pretty much any device. You can see the code, you can change the code, you can run the code. Um, and then down at the bottom there are some challenges to work through to change the colours this week in the rainbow. Um, so I don't know if you want black instead of um, red. Then we can draw it um, or you can step through line by line see the contents of all the variables and explore how the code works um, so that's the second activity the third one is a kpride activity so kpride is a, a kind of framework for trying to make um, coding more accessible um, um, to help anybody engage with it and understand it and enjoy it so there's a number of activities for each of the letters in Kpride, keywords, predict, run, investigate, debug, and extend. And it kind of builds on the research um, that Dr. Sue Sentence put together on the PRIM methodology for, for teaching programming. Um, so the K part, keywords, means you start again with the same code um, and it automatically identifies all of these key GCSE computer science concepts in programming Python code. And you just got to try and find them in your code. So let's see, assignment means um, setting the value of a variable. So we are assigning on this line and you can see where else we're using assignment here. And you get points for each, um, uh, each keyword that you correctly identify. So we have an arithmetic operator, here we go. So decreasing size by five, are there any others? Um, so that's uh, keywords. Predict means you have the same code again, um, and then you have to try and write what you think will happen, predict what will happen. So draw a rainbow, help. Um, and then if we go on to run, we can test it. You see your predictions, you see what actually happens. And then uh, the idea is that, I don't know, students can be encouraged to screenshot this, put it into a workbook each week, um, and just testing their predictions to see if their code does actually happen. Then you've got investigate. So this is where we work through uh, the challenges at the bottom. So change the colours um, in the rainbow, add an inspirational, which should be inspirational rather than inspiration. Sorry, I'll try and change that. Um, so uh, adapting the code that's there, seeing what happens, developing that sense of curiosity. And the thing that can stump students most is debugging. I know that students find it really frustrating not understanding error messages. Um, so debug again starts with the same code from the video. 
um, but it sabotaged it deliberately. So I, I spoke to loads of students and teachers via social media and I asked them what are the common mistakes that students make. And then this will automatically inject some of those errors. So here it's trying to input turtle instead of um, import turtle. Let's try again, line 23, what's wrong with that? So uh, wrong brackets. So trying to um, uh, decode, understand these error messages and use them as clues to try and find out where the problems are. Line 23, bad input on line 23. Um, what have we got that's wrong here? Um, oh, line 12, sorry, we'd fix that one. And then the wrong bracket in here. So trying to use the clues to try and fix all of them. Or you can press that sabotage button as much as you like to inject common mistakes into your code. The end result will hopefully be no error is too difficult for students to, to find and fix because they used to get an experience finding those common mistakes. And then extend goes back to the keywords activity. Um, so all of these key concepts were identified in this week's video. In the extend, you then get a blank slate um, and you then have uh, to try and use all of those concepts in your own prog uh, program. So I want to try and use a comment and that'll get me some points. Uh, my own program. And then hopefully, yeah, there we go. We've got some points for comments. Um, a built in sub program. So something like print um, hello. Actually, that's going to get me quite a few points because I've used a built in sub program print. Uh, I've used a string um, and we've used um, a parameter. So that's the K-Pride activity. And if you've signed up for the competitive um, challenges, um, then your students get points for, at the moment, just the keywords. I'm trying to work out how we can get points for the other activities. And then also there's a bit of an extension activity. So um, my students are doing Edexcel GCC Computer Science. So all of the activities are mapped to one of the learning objectives, but hopefully it's um, suitable for um, Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 as well. So this week's um, was all about lists. So as a keyword activity about, um, um, yeah, about lists and variables. So here we have a definition at the top. It says a named memory location, which stores, see if I can say this whilst doing flappy word, probably not, uh, stores a value which can be set and used multiple times. So it sounds like a variable to me. So each time you get through a pipe, you get a letter. And then when you get through the whole word, it's just checking, trying to help um, students um, remember the spelling remember the keywords and remember the definition. Um, so again, if you've signed up for the, the, um, uh, the free school accounts, you can track student scores for speed um, and um, for accuracy and completion. Or you can just do it on any device without signing in, that's fine. Um, so that it, uh, that's it, that's live with code.uk um, in a nutshell. Um, you can just um, work through them in any order. Or if you're interested in tracking students' progress, then, um, then do get in touch. Uh, there are instructions for teachers for how to set up your school account um, and set up groups so that you can subscribe to the weekly activities. The teachers don't need to do anything. All the activities just pop, out, um, pop into your group each week and then you can see how students are doing and um, arrange your own um, prizes and rewards. So I hope that's helpful. Do get in touch if you've got any suggestions. I'm not claiming it's the best resource out there, um, but the idea is to provide a little bit of support, um, regular practice so that students can build up their confidence and experience with like programming. All the very best. Bye bye.